What's up, Booker? Um, yeah, if you make it not weird, we can play. But I feel like that's impossible for you. Where would I put Or on the tier list? Uh, mid-low? He's not great. <laughs> Downplaying to hell? No, he's just not great. His V trigger is maybe top three in the game. You guys just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like 99% of the player base, you dangle your keys in front of their face and they go, oh my God, that's so amazing. Wow. When you got characters like M Bison here, just pressing fierce punch and winning the game. You got characters like Karen just doing low forward and winning the game. Cammy just doing crouch fierce and dive kick and winning the game. That's the true villain of the game. But everyone gets so caught up in like, oh my God, look at the flashy thing that happened once in a blue moon and gives him a win when the 99% of the time he's just losing. That's the problem with most people. Oro has a spike where he's good and then the rest of the time he's outclassed by everybody <laughs> in most regards. And even like all the good players, you see their tier list, they put him real low tier for a reason. Confuses me. I'm still not familiar with how much durability that really has. It's a little confusing for me. Got a little lucky there. that move. I want to master the forward medium kick, but every time I use it, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, I thought it hit. Ah, no, no, that's even worse. Oh, that was kind of weird. I didn't punish. Mm, I saw the startup. I thought I could interrupt that. Nice. Oh. Got him with the zoning.
Damn. Uh, I got the, the Tengu hit, but it didn't combo properly. Jab didn't reach. Maybe medium kick would have worked there. Yeah, this matchup's a little tough. Oh no. Still punished? Ah. Messed up my pressure. Patience is paying off. Sick track. I have no idea what you guys are listening to. I don't hear the music, and I'm just trying not to die over here. You guys enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I don't know what's I don't know what's happening there, <laughs> but it's, it, it took away a bar. I guess that's kind of cool. I love that juggle. I love that juggle. Oh, he went right over. Sheesh. Oh, 
Oh my god, we're freestyling right now. We're freestyling. Ended the set with the footsies. Clean finish. All right, I can maybe squeeze in one more because I have W and F at nine. As long as it's not like the sweatiest first to three of all time, we might be able to finish it. Tekken is full-time job. It's funny how Tekken is both easier and harder to get into. Like Tekken, I think is a lot easier for certain types of players to get into, like more casual players, because you can mash and have more fun mashing in Tekken than in Street Fighter. But if you try to actually learn the game, like in a, in a controlled systematic manner where you're actually learning what's going on behind the mashing, that can take forever because there's just so much to learn. But if you just play by feel and mash, you can just mash <laughs> and then you'll do cool shit. So it kind of depends on y your progress as a fighting game player. If you think Tekken is, is harder or easier to pick up. Oh my god! Stones! You're doing too much right now. <laughs> Stones, you're doing too much. What? I was a little disrespectful. That super, honestly, was really bad. Because <laughs> it wasn't gonna kill, and it left me in a horrible position to win. I would not advise doing what I did there. Bison just doesn't want to play by my rules, man. Come on. That was a huge whiff. When he V reversaled, I could have blocked that, but I autopiloted my pressure sequence. That would have been um, a real big opportunity to block that and keep the corner. Oh shit. I try to react DP to that. No, you challenged the booger? Unfortunate.
Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. No, wh uh, what? <laughs> Disaster averted, but it was about to be cool. Instead, it was sloppy. All right, GG's man. I got a break for WNF. GG's, GG's. You win.